Sandra and Al Karp are well into their golden years, but retirement isn't on the radar. At 86, Al is sidelined by Alzheimer's. Playing live music as the Karp family is the only way they can bring in a few extra dollars. Social Security helps with the bills, but the mortgage goes unpaid. The Carps are among thousands of retirees struggling with mortgages, years after most homeowners have paid them off. It's a rough situation to be in, you know. It's like you don't know what's going to happen. Experts say the recent housing bubble and the easy financing associated with it are part of the reason older Americans are carrying more debt than ever before. Many of them refinance, extending the term of their mortgage by 30 years. Often they may have had a, a small remaining mortgage, but now have extended it another 30 years. Ralph Cans and Martha Lowe should have been coasting towards their retirement, but they bought too much house at the wrong time, 2005, near the height of the housing boom. We originally didn't qualify for the loan that we got. You know, we sort of, we trusted our mortgage broker you know, to have our best interests at heart, and uh, they let us down. That mortgage proved to be a ticking time bomb. An interest rate adjustment is just about to kick in. Their future is now more uncertain than ever. There is no stability in this current situation, and that's, and that's the biggest problem, which is what I think everybody wants in retirement, is to have stability and know what's coming down the road. As the Great Recession has shown, fortunes can quickly change. Staying in tune with your finances is more important than ever. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press. Come and get it, baby.